Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Kiyosu uh, Kiyo. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about Iraq from my experience. You know, I think Kelly started uh, made a good start, so I want to follow it. Uh, how many of you has been to Iraq? Okay. <laughs> yeah. In the future, probably you have opportunity to go there for your study international relations. So, uh, but Iraq is not. Uh, Iraq is a very special country because security now. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce how uh, what the situation in Iraq. Then after that, I want to introduce how uh, foreigners survive in the country. Uh, now in the Iraq, uh, there is a, there's a lot of violence, unfortunately, and in average, every month around 1,000 people died because of violence. So, uh, major reasons of them are explosion and gun shooting. And as you know, uh, sometimes foreigners are uh, kidnapped in Iraq or Syria these days. So it's really hard for foreigners to live there. So how, but I stayed there for two years, from 2013 to 2015. Because at the time I worked for JICA, Japan International Cooperation Agency, and I supported the development of the country with the government of Iraq. So how did I how did I survive there? Uh, in Iraq, there's a special uh, special place which is called Green Zone or a officially uh, International Zone. The area is around 10 square kilometers. So if you run around the area, it takes 30 minutes. And JICA has office inside of them. So actually, not only Iraq, or many countries have embassies, or UN or the World Bank have office there also. And only some special people, I mean, like a high-ranked politician can, of Iraq can live there. So normal people cannot enter the place. So I also lived there, and uh, I lived in a compound which is operated by private British company. Uh, do you know C uh, Control Risk? It's also famous as a think tank. And uh, they organize a compound. It's like a hotel. Uh, foreign companies or uh, foreign visitors can stay there. And JICA has an annual contract with them. So I have an office and private room there. And I was not allowed to go out from the area because of security. Uh, but sometimes I have to go out uh, only for two reasons. One is to go to the airport to go to another country. And the another one is uh, with a, with a meeting with Iraq government. Because our counterparts, such as Ministry of Electricity or Ministry of Education, have office outside of the green zone, and they cannot enter the green zone, so we have to go out. So at the time, uh, I wear a bulletproof jacket, and I took armor vehicle, three armor vehicle actually, and I ride on center as a customer, then there are two more vehicles in front and back of my car. Mm -hmm. Then I'm accompanied with six bodyguards, so it's a very expensive meeting. <laughs> then I can go out free from green zone. But usually I can, uh, I'm I was allowed to go out only for one hour, so I have to finish meeting as soon as possible, then I have to come back to the green zone. So, and, uh, so, this is, green zone is safe, but not always, because sometimes, even now, uh, there's a missile from outside of green zone for me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so there's a missile outside, from outside to the green zone, like, uh, even when I was there, uh, there are one, once or twice inside. But there, there are some shelters in green zone. So if I can run fast to go to the shelter, uh, you are totally safe. 
<laughs> so if you have opportunity to go to Iraq, you have to train <laughs> to so that you can run fast. <laughs> message. Yeah. yeah, that's all. Thank you. So I'm very really happy to answer the question. Uh, do you employ local people to finish your projects in Iraq? Yes, a lot. Are they qualified enough to construct the project? Uh, actually, we finance the government of Iraq and they employ uh, companies. And mainly they are foreign companies such as Japanese company or Turkish. But of course they employ a lot of uh, local Workers, and uh, I'm sorry to say that but the level of labor is not so high. So some of the company imports labor from around the country. Oh. country. Not from China. <laughs> Chinese company do oh. that. Yeah. India or Philippines. Yeah. So during the time we were in Iraq. Um, how do you think the Iraq government's ability of managing the violence in Iraq? Yeah, it's very low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a problem that we cannot pro uh, get high pro big progress of projects. So, yeah, what we did is to build infrastructure, but at the same time, I really felt the necessity of capacity building of government. 